What's going on everybody? Raccoon Eggs. That's it. That's going to be my intro. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new trend spreading across YouTube like the Black Plague called the Human Mail Challenge, where people will say that they're about to ship themselves through the mail, film themselves getting thrown around a box like a pinball for 10 minutes and 1 second, then magically cut to themselves arriving at their destination. But they might as well call it the crawling into a box with some food and getting my mom to drive me around so it looks like I'm getting shipped challenge, because this should go without saying, but every single one of them is fake as shit. Now the main problem with the Human Mail Challenge is that everybody will try to play it off like it's real for either the entire video, or they'll just reveal at the very end that it's fake, but either way, it's still just a huge fuck you to the viewer. It's like you're basically saying, hey guys, today I'm gonna be mailing myself in a box, except not really, the whole thing's fake, but I'm not gonna tell you that until the very end, because I want that extra watch time. Like, for example, let's take a look at Rice Gum's human mail challenge. In the very beginning, he says he watched someone else do the human mail challenge, and then starts preaching about how it's fake, so he wants to try it for real. You're then led to believe it's real for the next 16 minutes, until finally at the very end of the video, Alex beats the shit out of him, which, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I kinda wish it was real. But even after that, he doesn't say it's fake, he just plugs a dude's channel, and yeah, I know it's supposed to be like a haha, -ha, hilarious plot twist, but honestly, it just comes off more like, get fucked, kiddo, you thought this is real, thanks for the 100% watch time. So while Rice Gum's video is obviously fake, there are others who will go the extra mile to make theirs look real. Meet Sniper Wolf. She tried so hard to make her video look real, so very, very hard. However, if you skip to the part where she's hunched over, inhaling bread like a squirrel, you can clearly see the reflection of someone holding a camera in her glasses. So I'll tell you what, Sniper Wolf, you get a medal, okay? It says, I lied to my viewers. Alright, so last and most definitely least, we have FaZe Rug's human mail challenge, which he barely tries to make realistic at all. And what I mean by that is, well, just, just watch. Alright, so for entertainment, I'm bringing my GameCube with the controller, you already know, Super Smash Bros. You hear that, guys? He's bringing his GameCube with him for entertainment. You know, it's not like he needs a TV or anything. No, but seriously, how is he gonna entertain himself with just a GameCube? Is he just gonna, like, fuck the controller holes. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm so confused. Like, the only conclusion I can come to is that he thought bringing a GameCube without a TV would be like a fucking hilarious meme or something, but honestly, you know what, whatever. I'm getting caught up on the GameCube, let's just move on. I got two fruit roll-ups, a Chex Mix, a banana and water to be healthy. Bro, hate to break it to you, but unless you've got fucking Amazon Prime next day shipping, you're gonna starve to death. Yeah, no, your healthy banana isn't gonna save you from malnutrition. I mean, that's a whopping 400 calories of food you're bringing with you there. Also known as the I'm gonna be fucked in three hours starter pack. I just don't understand why you wouldn't pack more shit if you're trying to make this seem realistic. And, um, uh, I kinda wanna bring my Bluetooth speaker because... Uh, I might get bored. Remember guys, if you're ever doing the human mail challenge and you're trying to stay really quiet so that the UPS workers don't hear you, just bring a Bluetooth speaker and blast some music. Don't worry, they won't hear you since cardboard is soundproof. Black Beatles in the city, be paying me so finally, in the biggest plot twist of 2016, he arrives not at a house, but in a haunted tunnel, and ends up getting his asshole resized by a killer clown. But then in the second biggest plot twist of 2016, it turns out the killer clown is actually his friend in disguise. Damn, dude, I gotta say, this is some M. Night Shyamalan level shit right here. So then he reveals it's a skit, and explains his reasoning behind faking the whole thing. I came up with the idea of doing the human mail challenge, where you ship yourself to a random address, and I decided why not randomly end up in the haunted tunnel. Okay, but listen, Rug, buddy, you can't just decide how your challenge video turns out, because that means you didn't do the challenge. You didn't quote-unquote decide to mail yourself in a box, you decided to film yourself acting brain-dead in a box for 10 minutes and title that mailing myself in a box to mislead your viewers. Anyways, there's a bunch more human mail challenges on YouTube, but I'm not gonna be going through every single one of them. Just from watching those three, you should pretty much get the gist of why I think they're scummy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go do a human mail challenge of my own, or I guess you'd call it a raccoon mail challenge in this case, but anyways, I'm gonna go do that right now and... Hey, don't fucking judge me, okay? I, I gotta get views somehow. Alright guys, so I found this box which obviously can't fit me, but I think I'm gonna use it anyway and then complain about back problems halfway through the challenge. And of course we're gonna need some food, so I think I'm gonna just grab a couple of chips here. And, uh, you know, that should be plenty to last us about four or five days. And uh, I'm also gonna write on the box in the smallest handwriting possible, uh, very fragile, so hopefully that will prevent me from getting a concussion when I get dropped off. Alright guys, so it's been like, um, four hours, and, um, you know, I'm starting to get a little bit bored, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake this rattle that I brought for, uh, entertainment, and, you know, hopefully the, uh, the UPS workers don't hear me, I'm gonna try to do it pretty quietly, so, here goes. 
All right, guys, so um, we're definitely on a, a bumpy road right now. I don't know if the box is gonna hold, but uh, oh, oh, son of a bitch, dude. The, the box is starting to tear a little bit, so I don't know if we're gonna make it. Um, Oh, don't, no, don't, don't, don't look at that. Um, I'm not in my house. I'm in a UPS truck. So yeah, shortly after that, I arrived back home. So luckily the challenge was a success, guys. Um, I don't actually have any video proof, but you can just take my word for it. But anyways, that was the raccoon mail challenge. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if I got a laugh out of you, make sure you smash that like. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter for exclusive video updates and shit posts. And join my Discord server to interact with me and all my loser friends. But yeah, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Raccoon Eggs and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.